Kolo, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The bond to the men that get light for this truth. Then Yahweh Shai shall rise first, the pioneers of this truth. The bond to the elders of Great Millstone that told me the truth. Honestly, brothers out there teaching in sincerity. To the house of David, the 144,000, the elect, the one third. Men and women, show that part of the elect. Basically, um, amen. Uh, shout out to the brother. Ray Solomon that sent me this news article, you know, that's the time we're living in. I was just watching the, the, the elections and the vote, and I'm watching it too, but I'm also watching the news because I know these devils, they like to do um, a lot of shit when people are are being entertained, you know what I'm saying? That's how they move. Like over there in uh, California, you know, they had a shooting over there in Azua. Was it Azua, California? Someone got shot and the gunman they're looking for, and one person got killed, two people injured. You know, those are all false flags. But these devils are making their moves, man. Over here, Russia to launch large scale airstrikes on, on Syria as Americans vote. Cruise missiles and carrier based warplanes to hit eastern Aleppo. Military indicates hundreds of terrorist targets to be destroyed. Russia has threatened to launch, to launch large scale cruise missiles and airstrikes on Aleppo. To coincide with the U.S. elections, according to media reports from Moscow. I remember they were saying that they was going to do something on the elections. Russia said that. Now, this is what it was. The strikes predicted in the 24 hours from Tuesday morning would be targeted at the outskirts of the city where rebel groups had been seeking to break the Assad, Assad regime siege of op opposition <laughs> held eastern districts. They would involve cruise missiles, carrier base and land based warplanes, the report said. A military source told the Gazeta.ru website, while in previous cases, when missile attacks were launched from the Gaspian Sea, there were dozens of targets destroyed. This time, in literally two to three days, hundreds of terrorist targets will be destroyed from long range. Over the past days, the Russian Navy assembled a sizable fleet in the eastern Mediterranean made up of, of its only aircraft carrier, the Admi Admiral Kostanosov, its biggest Battle cruiser, the Peter, the Peter the Great, is heavy because um. I just recently did research on Russia. And uh. Peter the Great actually taught Abram Hannibal. Which um, there was forty thousand Russians over there in Russia. You know, that people scattered four corners of the earth, and he taught him in the military. That's deep. He taught him in uh, military tactics and military um, military formations and, and so on and so forth. But it's heavy because that's the vibrations in the air now, World War Three. Both from his northern fleet and Amaro Grigorich, a missile frigate. There are also reported to be up to three submarines from the northern fleet from the Kuznetsov, Kuznetsov battle group, which are all positioned between Cyprus and the Syrian coast. As described, as described by military officials in the Russian media, the Alibo attack would be a show of strength and military capability on the day of U.S. elections. You see this? You see this, man? Read that again. Remember, Russia said prior that they would do something on the elections. As described by military officials to the Russian media, the Alipo attack would be a show of strength and military capability on the day of the U.S. elections. Putin observers have constantly said he puts heavy Ephesus on restoring Russian status as a global power. Now that's scriptural, man. The most I'm going to put the hooks into Russia and bring them back. The USSR, Lithuania, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan. The Cold War hasn't gone nowhere, man. We read that again, man. Heavy emphasis on restoring Russia, Russian status as a global power. That's biblical, man. That's the power you held by Shem Yahweh Shai. He putting that spirit into Russia, man, to take over. Ukraine, Lithuania, Armenia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, the USSR, bringing them back together. That's the times we live in. It would involve the first carrier-based air sorties in Russian history, the use of caliber cruise missiles from the Grekovich or the, or the submarines or both, and Russian warplanes taking off from Hemim, Hemimim air base near Latakia over the course of the election of Kremlin has made no secret of its backing for Donald Trump. And the U.S. intelligence agency have accused Moscow 
of orchestrating the hacking of Democratic Party emails, which would then leak to, Wiki, to WikiLeaks' website. If she is elected, Hillary Clinton is generally expected to adopt a tougher stance towards Russia than the Obama administration. And Putin and Putin and Putin, <laughs> and Putin gonna be putting missiles in America. Putin. Putin gonna be putting missiles in America. Turn America to Putin. And Putin is widely seen as narrowing her room for maneuvering by crippling the Syrian opposition militarily before she arrives in office. So they're planning to attack, man. They said 24 hours from Tuesday morning, so. By tomorrow morning, my, there's a lot of things happening, man. Here it is. You had the blackout. You had the blackout over there. You know, uh, the blackout over there in uh, um, Russia. We're just saying the U.S. hackers did that. The feds and the feds are going under, getting ready to go into the bunkers for a cyber war. Fiber so from some type of uh, glitch on the election votes. And they had a whole bunch of glitches going on throughout the states of the, the states and the voting polls. The shooting in California. Come on, man. So many things are happening. People still don't see it. Well, this World War III is right at the door. But let me bring a scripture out. Because remember, everything goes back to the scriptures, you know? Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But well, this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Nuclear war, man. So there it is. Russia said before that they're going to do something. They're going to do something on election day. Look. Russia ain't playing, man. Russia ain't playing no games, man. Russia's not playing any games. But we at the end of this thing, you know, let's see what happens, man. So these elections, it's a perfect time to do something because people are sleeping, you know. People are sleeping. People are uh, voting in line, voting and just being zombies. Meanwhile, Russia is about to do a large-scale attack on Syria, man, which the United States funded those ISIS. ISIS. They was trained in Jordan, man. By the United States military. It's all bullshit. Here it is. So-called America's not getting the job done. Russia goes and just gets the job done quick. But it's really bullshit because Russia was America's backing that up. Trying to take Assad out of rulership, man. When Russia was like, you fuck with Assad, it's fucking with us. And Iran is backing Assad too. So all hell's about to break loose, man, in the Middle East. A nuclear war basically is coming to America. Whether you believe it or not, that's your problem. Prophecy is going to come to pass. The word Lord ain't going to come back void. Call the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The one in true noise, living power, the almighty, the apocalypse. That's bringing an end to this wicked ass fucking cancerous country. Corporation, really. America. We at the end of this bitch, man. Shalom to the house of David, the 144,000, the elect. Church of the saints. The one third men, women, and children that are part of the elect. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.